All right, well, welcome back to Houston, everybody. Second game of a two-game set here um, against the uh, Cold 45s. About 13,000 here for this one. Except that we have a little bit better luck today than we did yesterday. How does that sound? Uh, Mets coming into this game, we're still in second place, uh, still trying to catch the Dodgers, but uh, we have to win to be able to do that. Dykstra with a swing and a miss. And fouls one away. It's 0-2 on him quickly. He's up here against Bob Bruce. Um, I don't know much about Bob Bruce. 2-1 and one record, 24 and two-thirds innings, and a 2.55 ERA this season. And that's low. It's 1-2 and two now in lane. That's hit over to right field, but foul. Remains 1-2. and two. And that's a little uh, bouncer over to uh, first base. It's going to be Larker who grabs that, flips over to uh, the pitcher Bruce for the out, and there's one away. Here comes Mookie Wilson, the second leadoff man, hitting 415, and he takes the ball inside. He's been hot the last couple days, and that's another ball, 2 0. As low, it's 3 0. He'll take this one. There's the strike, 3 and 1. Fouled away. And that's off the outside corner, so Wilson will go to first. That brings up Hernandez, and you know what time it is. And there he goes, but uh, that was not a very good uh, jump on his part, and Wilson's thrown out again. So uh, now there's two away, and here comes Keith Hernandez. 0-1 pitch is hit over to center field. It's going to be easy there for uh, Jim Pendleton, and uh, we will go to the bottom of the first inning. And it'll be Bob Lillis uh, here for the uh, Cool 45s. Ojeda, uh, 2.41 ERA, throws the ball outside, 1-0. 5-1 and one is his record, one of the better pitchers in the National League here in the early season. And there's a strike. It's 1-1 one one on Lewis. A little pop-up uh, behind the plate. Carter's got that one for the out, one away. Gary Carter back in the lineup after taking two days off to rest. There's a little ground ball over to uh, Backman from Aspermonte, and he throws the first, two away, and here comes Al Spangler. Uh, ball low to Spangler, 1-0. And it's fouled away, 1-1 one one quickly. It's hit over to right field. That is going to fall in front of Strawberry for base hit. And so a little, uh, little blooper over to right. Daryl couldn't get there in time, and that will bring up Roman Mejias. And he has some um, uh, very interesting player. 62 was his only full season. There's a ball low, and he did a pretty good job for the Cold 45s. It's 2-0 now. Played fairly well in 62, but he was about 36 years old, uh, Cuban. It's a fly ball over to center field. Dykstra has that for the out, and uh, we go to the top of the second inning. No score. Here's Daryl Strawberry. Takes the ball low. 1-0. and Little soft ground ball over to short. It's going to be easy for Lillis. Throws the first one away, and here comes Carter. Here he's got nine home runs. Takes a strike on the inside corner. And that's popped up over to right, and that is going to be easy for Mejias. Uh, two away, and that'll bring up Ray Knight. Swing and a miss by Knight. 0-1. Oh, a little ground ball over to short, and there's Lillis again on to first, and we go to the bottom of the second. Still no score. Here, here is uh, Norm Larker. I always think it's interesting to think about a player like Mejias as that ball is low. I mean, most of his time in the majors was in his 30s, and you kind of wonder what would have been possible um, if uh, he had a few more seasons behind him. One and two now the count. And that's low, two and two. Fouled off to the left side out of play. Still two and two on Larker. That's up the middle. Uh, Backman fields it, throws to first just in time. Larker not a particularly fast runner, and there's one away. Merritt Ranu comes up, and he hits this one over to right field that falls in front of Strawberry for a base hit, second base hit of the game for the Cold 45s, and that brings up Jim Pendleton. So they have a base runner here with one out in the uh, bottom of the second. We go to double play uh, depth, and there's a ball outside. And a swing and a miss of that... Uh, what was that? That was a changeup that looked like it fell into nothing. There's another swing and a miss. That time it was a fastball. One and two. A little pop up. It's out of play. That's very high. Two and two now. Strike three. And there's strike three called on the fastball. So uh, Ojeda with a good fastball gets his first strikeout, and Pendleton just sort of stood there looking at that one. Looked like he hadn't woke up yet. Here comes Goodman, who fouls one away. Billy Goodman. Takes the ball, one and one, hitting uh, 214. Not a lot happening for him. It's one and two now. 
and there's one just called high, the ball too, but the uh, runner, Renew, was trying to uh, steal second, and Carter threw him out pretty easily. Uh, he didn't have much of a jump until we go to the top of the third. Both teams have had uh, men thrown out trying to steal. Here's Wally Backman for the Mets. First pitch swing hits this over to center field. That's going to be routine for Pendleton, one away. That brings up Santana. And it's grounded foul. It's 0-1, Raphael. Backman usually hitting second, but we're not going to have Mookie Wilson hit far down in the order. There's a ball, 1-1. One one. Fouled away, 1-2. and two. You can see that Backman, when he's hitting second, you know, then you kind of praise his ability to make productive outs, but uh, not so much when he's hitting in the, uh, what is it, seventh spot. A little pop-up by Santana. Lillis has that for the out, two away, and here's Ojeda. And there's a strike, 0-1. That's low. One and one. There's a fly ball left field. That is deep, but not quite deep enough. It's easy for Spangler. We go to the bottom of the third inning. No score. Billy Goodman takes a strike. 0 and 1. Number 8 hitter. There's a ball inside. 1 and 1 the count. It's hit over to center, and it's going to be easy for Dykstra. 1 away. Bob Bruce now, pitcher. Takes a strike. 0 and 1. Hitting 125. He's a pitcher. Misses inside is one and one. That's low. Two and one now to count. Has popped up to center. Dykstra's not going to get there in time. No, he will. He does. How about that? It hung up for him. So two away. I thought for sure there'd be a base hit. Two gone. Here's Bob Lewis. That's a uh, fastball low. One and zero. Oh. There's a strike. One and one now to count. That's a ball inside. Two and one. Pop up and it's going to be easy. I think Backman has this. Yes. Wally makes the catch. We go to the top of the fourth. Still no score. Here comes Lenny Dykstra. No hits for the Mets so far. There's a ball low to Lenny, 1-0. Foul the way. It's 1-1. One one. So over to right field, and uh, whoa, what a play by Mejias. Oh, man, he came in full speed on that one and made a very difficult catch. One away. Here comes Mookie Wilson. And it's a ball low to Mookie. And swing and a miss, so it's uh, one and one. Swing and a miss again, one and two. He walked last time up and was caught stealing. That's it over to left field. There's your first base hit for the Mets, and that gets all the way to the wall. That was really poorly played out there by the uh, left fielder. And uh, Spangler had a real hard time with that, so Wilson gets the double here with two, uh, one out, I'm sorry, top of the fourth, and that brings up the RBI man, Keith Hernandez. Hernandez has 33 RBIs already, and there's a ball down and in. I think we've only played about 33 games, so uh, we'll see if he can do a hack Wilson this season. That's foul, one and one. That's away, two and one now on Keith. Foul the way, it's two and two. And that's fouled away again. A little ground ball over to Lillis, who throws to first, and uh, Hernandez is out by a mile. Two away, and here comes Daryl. Strawberry, of course, leading the league in strikeouts with 51, um, uh, 30 RBIs. There's a swing and a miss and a changeup. That's fouled away, and he's in an 0-2 hole before you could even blink. And that's hit to center, but uh, and that's over the head. Boy, that was really poorly uh, fielded there by Pendleton. Strawberry easily into second with a double. Looking at the animation, he probably could have had a uh, triple if he really wanted to, and it's a 1-0 lead for the Mets. So the Mets come here into the top of the fourth, being no hit, and uh, we will leave with the lead. 1-0 New York, and there's a strike to Gary Carter. The ball inside, 1-1. As low, two and one to Gary. High and misses. It's three and one. And that's way low in the dirt. Ball four to Carter. And the Mets might have a little bit more uh, to say about this before this inning's o over. Here comes Ray Knight. Knight hitting 289. He's driven in 11. Two men on, takes a strike outside corner and swings and misses. It's 0 and 2 on him quickly. And that's going to be, I think, a wild pitch on Renew. Yes, it is. Or, I'm sorry, on Renew on uh, Bruce, the pitcher. Runners move up a base, and uh, now there's runners on second and third. 1-2 now the count. That's fouled away again by Ray. Still 1-2. and two. Hit over to right field, and that's going to be out of play. I mean, he is fast, not that fast. It's up the middle for a base hit. That'll score at least one. Here comes Carter. Throw is going to beat him. No, it gets by the catcher. Renew unable to grab that uh, ball, and uh, Knight ends up going to second on that throw. It's a 3-0 lead now for the Mets, and here comes Backman. Takes the ball low and in. Hits this one over to left, slicing and foul. 1-1 one one the count. Swing and a miss. It's 1-2. and two. 
The ball inside, two and two. And that's low, full count now on Backman. That's fouled away again. And there's ball four inside. Bruce has walked three so far. And so uh, that brings up Rafael Santana. And now the Mets are looking like they're hitting. And Santana's hit by the first pitch. So they, uh, um, I don't think that was on purpose. They end up uh, having to pitch here to Ojeda. And we've uh, just about uh, hit around this inning, haven't we? There's a ball inside to Ojeda, 1-0. It's just barely fouled away, 1-1. One one. There's a strike, 1-2. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. But the Mets do bat around. We score three runs and go to the bottom of the fourth. Three nothing, New York. As Permonte up there, 0 for 1, takes a ball low from Ojeda. There is a strike outside corner. It's 1 and 1. Ground ball to short. Santana has got a beat on it. Throws to first. There's one away. Al Spangler now. Is low and away, 1 and 0. That's blasted to left center field. That's going to be a double easily for Spangler. So Hida really let that one, uh, left that pitch up there. He's going for three, and he's going to have this throw beat. Throw from Dykstra is a little bit late in coming, and so Spangler gets the triple, and uh, you got to wonder about where that pitch was. It was uh, inside, maybe a little bit off the plate, but it was up just enough for him to get it. And so uh, that brings up Mejias, and he swings at the first pitch and lines into the left field for a base hit. So Roman uh, gets it done. There's a runner on first base now with one out, and it's a three-to-one ball game just like that. We get the big inning, and then we give up a run right away. First pitch to Norm Locker is outside for a ball, and the second one is a hanger, and uh, that is pulled foul. And I tell you, Ojeda was lucky with that. One and one. That's low. Two and one. No business that's uh, fouled away. It's now two and two. No business with that screwball that was up by the uh, shoulders. This is fouled away again, still two and two. Ojeda throws more screwballs up high like that. I mean, we really have a problem. There's a ground ball to Backman onto Santana for one and over to Hernandez for the double play. So we do turn it in the end, but they get one run back. It's now three to one Mets. Here comes Lenny Dykstra, top of the fifth inning, three to one, and he takes the ball low. Dykstra today is 0 for two. Average has suffered a little bit here recently. Two balls now, two and oh. And there's a strike, two and one now on Lenny. Fouled away, and now it's two and two. Little ground ball over to second. That's going to be an easy play there for Goodman. Goes to first, one down. Here's Mookie Wilson. And that's up the hole. No. Good play there by uh, the uh, shortstop Lillis, uh, and uh, he throws the first for the second out. Two away. Here comes Hernandez. Fouls that one away. 0 oh, and 1. That was a curveball that stayed high. That must have looked like a big. Watermelon for Keith. That's low one and one. Ground ball to second again, and it's going to be uh, easy for Goodman, who throws the first. We go to the bottom of the fifth. 3 1 Mets. Here's Renew, who takes the ball low. And it's a little ground ball over to third. Great play by Knight. Throws the first, but the throw is offline, and uh, it's a poor play. It gets away from Hernandez, but not enough for uh, Renew to go anywhere. That's an error on Knight. And now we go back to double play depth and uh, try for another double. Uh, there's a ball low to Pendleton, 1-0. Oh. There's a pop-up. It's going to be out of play. 1-1 one one now the uh, count. Hit to left with foul. 1-2 the count now here on Jim. And it's slapped to the left side foul. A little pop-up. That'll be easy there for Mookie. Makes the catch. There's one away. Here comes Billy Goodman. We'll go back to the double play depth and see what we can do. There's a low change up. And there's a pop up. Santana, two away. Brings up Bob Bruce, the pitcher. This is kind of what we wanted to see. There's a ball outside to Bruce. And uh, fastball, I think. Yes, fouled away. One and one. Ball two. And I tell you, the screwball is landing high. That's a problem. Two and two is that fastball is fouled away. And that one was inside, full count. Let's hit over to center. That hangs up for Lenny. He's got it for the out. We go to the top of the six. Still three to one Mets. Not much offense here today. Here comes Daryl. Ball low and away to Strawberry, and it's becoming dusk here in Houston. That's a strike. One and one, a little bit low. There's another called strike. That was a nice curveball. Outside, two and two. That's uh, low and inside. That'll be a full count now on Daryl. 
Last to the left, but that's going to be easy for Spangler. One away. Here comes Gary Carter. Carter today 0 for 1. He walked last time up. Hits this one deep to center, but not quite deep enough. It's going to be easy there for Pendleton. Two gone. Here comes Ray Knight. Ball low and inside. I'm sorry, a strike. 0 and 1. And that's hit over to right field, and Mejias is fast, but not that fast. And Knight has the base hit. So that's hit number 4 for the Mets. I was right. That first pitch was a call of strike, and that was low and inside. But uh, Knight did a good job of the second one. Here comes uh, Backman, who uh, fouls the first pitch off. It's 0-1 on Wally. The ball outside, 1-1. A little ground ball over to first. That should be easy. Larker grabs it, goes to the back himself, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. It'll be Bob Lillis here to lead this off for the full Colt 45s, and he takes a strike from Mojito, 0-1. That's hit over to left field. That's going to land fair. That's going to be at least a double as Wilson has to go into the corner to get it. He does a good job fielding it, and that will uh, hold Lillis to a double, but a uh, good piece of hitting there by Bob, and that will bring up Bob Aspermonte. Ojeda hasn't struck out as many as he has in past games. There's a strike to um, Aspermonte, and he went around on that one, so it's 0-2. And, and there's a ball. 1-2 and two to count. It's a foul right field line. Still 1-2. and two. That is just foul. Again, right field line, so uh, it remains 1-2. and two. And that's a base hit over to right. It lands in front of Strawberry. He throws over, hits the cutoff man. Lillis goes to third. So with nobody out, there's runners on at first and third. And uh, that'll bring up Al Spangler. And I think that we're going to have the infield uh, corners come in. Probably the right thing to do here. Three to one, but two on for the uh, Colt 45's bottom of the sixth inning. And uh, Ojeda has not been pit hitting or pitching like he had before. And uh, they're going to steal second base. Ospromonte is safe. Gotta wonder if Carter made the right decision in uh, de uh, deciding to throw. Now we have a decision to make ourselves. Do we pitch the Spangler? Do we walk him and go for Mejia? So I think we're actually going to walk him. I know that uh, Davy Johnson uh, was not a huge fan of the intentional walk, and almost certainly not with nobody out. But um, Spangler's been hitting very well. We're going to have the infield come in here. There's a foul ball by Mejia. It's 0 and 1. There's a strike. 0 and 2. Outside, one and two, two and two. Foul the way. That's it over to left. That'll be easy for Wilson. He makes the catch. Tagging is Lillis. He goes home, and there's no play on him, and it's a three to two ball game. So this game, uh, which has been relatively close so far, has become very close. We go back to double play depth with Barker up there, and he blasts one to center. That has a chance. Hits off the wall, way over Dykstra's head. One will score, two will score. Larker goes to second. He stops there. And the uh, relay throws nowhere close to in time. It's a 4-3 to three lead now for the Cole 45s. Ojeda hasn't looked quite right today. He's been hanging a lot of pitches, and that was a fastball that was way up in the zone. It's a batting practice fastball. Here is uh, Renew who takes a strike. There's a ball inside. It's 1-1. One one. The fastball low, 2-1 and one the count. <laughs> it's low again for ball 3. And he lost him. So Ojeda then walks the next batter, and there's uh, runners on at first and second with one out here in the bottom of the sixth. We go back to double play depth. So the Mets, a lot of uh, acts of self-destruction. Double play depth works. There's a ground ball that Santana goes to the bag himself and throws on to first, and that uh, ends it. But we have to go now uh, behind by one to the top of the seventh. And uh, Ojeda will be taken out here, second batter in this inning. First here is Santana, who takes the ball away, 1-0. As a little pitch uh, fisted off the left field. Spangler's got that one easy. One away. Here comes Ojeda, and here comes Foster. So Foster, who's really lost his uh, starting role in this uh, team, hitting now 194, will pinch hit again. A little ground ball over to uh, the left side. Aspermonte, third baseman, grabs that and throws the first two away, and that'll bring up Lenny Dykstra. Knight has fallen. Here's a ball low to Lenny. And it's fouled away. It's one and one. Fouled away again. One and two on Dykstra, just like that. Inside, two and two. Low, full count now on Lenny. And that's ball four as that's away, and that'll bring up Mookie Wilson, and you know what time it is. 
swing and a miss by Mucky. It's 0 and 1. And there he goes, and uh, Dykstra's got it stolen. That throw ends up going to center field. Dykstra takes an extra base for his efforts. He hits a stolen base and then goes to third on the wild throw. So Dykstra with yet another steal. That's his 23rd of the season. He's still, I believe, the leader in all of the major leagues. And now Wilson, with an 0-2 count, has a chance maybe to drive him home. That's low from Bruce. It's 1-2. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. So much for that. And now we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. So the Mets get the stolen base and uh, get the air, and it doesn't lead to anything in the end. And now we have a decision to make. Do we go for a closer this early on uh, with all those righties up? Do we dare to put McDowell back in? Do we want to put Terry Leach back in? I think we're going to go with uh, Roger again, even though he uh, really made us frustrated not long ago. We'll see what he can do, and we'll leave Leach for um, some game that's not quite as close. Here comes McDowell. And then he throws a strike to Billy Goodman. McDowell has walked seven, uh, struck out four in uh, seven innings pitched. 7.71 ERA. Of course, a lot of that came from that ninth inning against the uh, Braves, and we're not in Milwaukee. Well, ground ball to Hernandez, who goes to first base. There's one away. Here's uh, Amafitano, who's a uh, pinch hitter. A little pop-up over near the mound. Carter runs over and grabs that. There's two away. That'll bring up Bob Lillis, and so Houston will change pitchers as well. Swing and a miss by Lillis, so in one. That's hit deep to center, but uh, Dykstra is able to get there on his horse, and uh, we go to the top of the eighth inning. Four to three now at uh, Colt 45. And Don McMahon is going to be the new pitcher for the uh, Houston Colt 45s. 19 innings pitch for McMahon, one and one record, 4.26 ERA. We'll see how he does. Here he is against Hernandez. Keith is 0 for 3, and he fouls one away. In real life, Keith was hitting well for part of the season that went into a deep slump. We'll see if we can keep him out of that here in this replay. It's 1 and 1 now on Keith. Boy, that was high. Curveball. But uh, he swung and missed at that one. It said there in the play-by-play uh, -play that it was unhittable. I think that was very hittable. Look at how high that one broke. Fouled away. It's still 1 and 2 on Keith. And that's high and away. 2 and 2. Low, and it's a full count now on Hernandez. And he fouls that one away. It would have been ball four. There's a little weak ground ball over to second. Uh, easy for Goodman. One away. Daryl Strawberry up there now. One out, and uh, Daryl fouls this one away. Strawberry today is one for three. Did score a run. And there's a ball. One and one. There's another ball inside. It's two and one on Daryl. Pop up. Uh, Spangler's not going to get there in time. It's one in, or two and two rather now. He's blasted to the left, but that's going to land foul. Just foul. Outside. Full count now on Daryl. Foul the way again. And that's hit over to right. Deep. That's going to be a base hit there for Strawberry, a single. And he has, uh, and he didn't have much of a chance on that one. So Strawberry uh, gets this inning to stay alive, and that'll bring up Gary Carter. Strawberry, of course, is always a threat to steal. The ball low to Gary, 1-0. And there he goes, and uh, boy, uh, he didn't have a good jump at all. And so uh, Renew throws him out, trying to steal second. Means it's 2-0 here on Carter. Nobody on. That's a pop-up. That's going to go out of play. 2-1 now on Gary. And that's hit over to right field. That's going to be easy for Mejia. It's two away. That brings up Bob Aspromonte. Little ground ball into the hole. And uh, throw from ninth to first is in time. One away. Say so they'll bring up Bob Aspromonte. We're in the bottom of the eighth inning now. I'm sorry. I must have seen the outs wrong. So one away. Here comes Al Spangler who tripled. And that's a ball outside. One and oh. Foul the way. It's one and one. A little ground ball to Backman. He throws the first two away. And brings up Mejias. And there's a strike in the knees. 0 and 1. Ball low. 1 and 1. Low again is 2 and 1 from Miguel. 3 and 1 now to count. Foul the way. It's a full count now on Mejias, the uh, Cuban. Because he's 36 and he swings and misses. And down he goes. 
So we go to the top of the ninth inning, and uh, now it's time to really start thinking about this. Uh, there's a righty on the mound, and the question is, uh, do we want to put a, a left-handed hitter out there? I'm thinking of Johnson. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have Johnson come up here and uh, pinch head and see if we can force something into happen. Howard Johnson comes on as a pinch hitter. Johnson is hitting 107 this season. 0 for 4 as a pinch hitter. There's the ball low, 1-0. That's it over to right field. It's going to be a base hit, so it works. We play righty-lefty with them, and it works, and uh, we take advantage of that. That'll bring up uh, now Wally Backman. Johnson on at first. Backman, or, uh, Backman at the plate. Wally today is 0 for 2. He did walk. Timed that one not quite so well. Fouled away. It's 0 and 1. There's a ball. 1 and 1 now to Wally. And that's a double play ball over to first, and uh, they go to um, Lewis for one, but uh, not uh, no return throw to first base. So Backman is safe. They'll bring up Santana, and now the uh, Mets are going to look here again to see who we have and if there's any sort of uh, hope that we have afterwards. We're probably going to have to put uh, Mitchell in, I think, uh, if uh, we manage to uh, tie the score. Danny Heap comes up as a uh, uh, pinch hitter. There's a ball inside, 1-0. and Quarter first, nothing happening. Ball low, it's 2-0 and on Danny. There's a strike, 2-1. and one. It's hit over right field, that's going to be fair, and uh, it's a base hit that uh, will be two, actually, for Heap. And we're going to try to have back and score. This ball is hit fairly deep. Here comes the throw to the plate, and he scores, and the Mets have tied this one up. So it's a big double by Danny Heap. We took, the, uh, we took the chance on that one, and it paid off. Heap now uh, perched on at second base. This is a brand-new ball game. And here comes Roger McDowell, and he's not going to hit for himself, that's for sure. McDowell comes out, and uh, this is the part, I think, where we will put uh, Kevin Mitchell in and uh, see what Mitchell can do for us. So the Mets are going to have a problem here eventually, but uh, we're going to worry about paying for this when we have to. There's a strike to Mitchell, 0-1. Oh one. one away, ball inside, it's 1-1. One one. Swing and a miss, 1-2 and two now on Kevin. There's a ground ball over to short. Uh, good play there by uh, Lillis, who throws the first. Two away, but uh, he moves over to third. Two outs, and here comes Dykstra. Lenny's 0-3. for three. He did walk. And they're going to put him on, so uh, that will bring up Mookie Wilson, and we're not going to do anything too rash here. Wilson today is one for three. He's had the hot hand as of late, hitting 409. Of course, he hasn't been on the uh, roster that often because uh, he was uh, injured in spring training. And there's a ball, 1-0. and It's a little nubber, and uh, there's no way that uh, Wilson's going to be able to outrun that one. It was back to the pitcher. Throw to first is in time. And now we have a couple of decisions to make. So Mitchell will be the shortstop. Johnson will be a third. And that means that, uh, well, who do we want here? Neiman or Roscoe? I think we'll do a Roscoe. See if Jesse can get us um, into the 10th uh, inning. So we'll see how that works. Swing and a miss by Warwick, uh, another pinch hitter for the uh, Colt 45s. It's 0-1. There's a little comebacker to Jesse who throws the first, one away. That brings up Don Budden. Takes the ball low, 1-0. And, oh. and uh, there's a ball high, 2-0. Oh. That's low again, 3-0 oh the count. There's the strike, 3-1. And, and that's up and in again. So uh, Orozco, a little break of concentration there. Now he's walked his third batter for this season. That'll bring up Jim Pendleton, and so we go back to double play depth. We uh, did not have a great starting performance by Ojeda as there's a ball away, and that's kind of what's brought on the bullpen. One and one now to count on Pendleton. Two and one as the slider was high, and those high sliders really make me worried. Ground ball to Mitchell, who throws the first, and there's two away, but Budden now in scoring position, and here comes Hal Smith. Another pinch hitter, and he takes a slider high. And the pitch low, 2 0. Oh. There's a strike, 2 and 1. Swing and a miss is 2 and 2 on Smith. The ground ball over to third. Johnson uh, gets to it in time, throws to first, and that does it. And we go to the top of the 10th inning. So uh, Jesse did what we wanted him to do, what we wanted him to do, I should say. And uh, we go to the top of the 10th with a tie ball game. Jim Umbricht is the new pitcher for the Colt 45s. We don't have many guys left on the bench. There's a ball to Keith Hernandez. 
And there's a ground ball over to short. Budden throws to first. There's one away. Here comes Strawberry again. So the right-handed pitcher gets to face a bunch of lefties. There's a ball outside. 1-0 on Darrell. 1-1 one one as that took a bite of the outside corner. And that's low. 2-1. 3-1 and one. And one now on Darrell. They've been going outside to him all at bat long. And he hits this one over to left field. Goes with that pitch. And it's a base hit for Strawberry. That'll bring up Gary Carter. So the Mets here with the uh, eight, their eighth hit of the ball game. Here comes Carter. Gary today is 0 for 3. He did score a run after walking. Swing and a miss by Gary. It's 0 and 1. Blasted but foul. 0 and 2 quickly on Carter. Fouled away again. There's a ball inside. 1 and 2. 2 and 2 as that was low. Hit over to right. Playable. And Mejias has that for the second out. That'll bring up Howard Johnson. So Carter can't get it done. Johnson's hitting 138, one for one. Takes the ball inside. And a strike, one and one. Pop up. That's going to be out of play. It'll be one and two here on Howard. Another throw to first, but we're not running. Ball two away, two and two. Blasted over to center. That's going to be caught. Great play by Warwick. Man, what a play that was. And we go to the bottom of the 10th inning. I want to go back and see that one. That was uh, potentially one of the key plays of this ball game. Warwick uh, does a great job to run back and make that uh, play. And, uh, yeah, boy, that was impressive. Dave Roberts here to lead this off bottom of the 10th. Another pinch hitter. And he uh, takes a strike. 0-1. There's a ball high. 1-1 one one the count. Fouled away. It's uh, one and two. Ball is inside. Two and two. Fouled away. Head over to right, and Strawberry's got that one easily. One away. Here comes Bob Lillis. A little ground ball to third, and it's Johnson making the play to first. Uh, not a great throw, but a good play by Hernandez. Two away. There's Aspermonte. Takes a ball. Bob uh, is, what, one for four today. There's a strike, one and one. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. And that's hit foul again, so it remains one and two. Sliders just load inside, two and two. And there's strike three that paints that corner. I think that was, that was a curve, not a slider. It looks very, very similar. And so we go to the top of the 11th inning. It'll be Wally Backman to lead this off. Backman and then a pinch hitter. There's a strike to Wally, 0-1. That's fouled away. It's 0-2. Ball high, 1-2. Fouled away again. And it's hit to the left side. That'll, that'll be foul once again. Backman trying to work his way on base. And that's low, 2-2 two two the count. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. It doesn't work out for Wally. He uh, does force the new pitcher, Bobby Tiefenauer, to throw quite a few pitches, but uh, doesn't uh, have much effect in the end. And it's time for another uh, pinch hitter, I believe. Tim Tuffle will come in, and uh, we'll see how he can do. So it's going to be Tuffle as the uh, pinch hitter against uh, Tiefenauer. I know that he's a righty, but uh, we'll do what we can. A little ground ball over to third, and uh, the throw to first by Aspermonte is in plenty of time. Two away, and here comes Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell uh, hitting 0-45, had a first, his first and only base hit not long ago. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. It was a home run, by the way. That's fouled away. 0-2 remains, top of the 11th. Fouled away again. Swing and a miss, down he goes. And so we go to the bottom of the 11th inning. And I tell you, the Mets have had... Uh, a pretty rough road trip so far, and uh, we have to keep uh, playing these uh, long games. We're going to put in Randy Neiman here to pitch, and after him it's basically Leach, and then we're into using guys who are tired. So we want to avoid that, and uh, we only have the catcher left on the bench. This game better end sometime. Neiman's 1-1, one one, uh, his record, 1.29 ERA. Throws a ball here, and then a ball inside to Al Spangler. 2-0 is the count. That's outside, 3-0. There's a strike. Three and one. 
That's hit through the hole, right side, base hit. And uh, Strawberry fields it, but it's a little bit too late. And that'll bring up Roman Mejias. We've been talking a lot about him today, the Cuban. The veteran, 36 years old, I think, takes a strike and then a ball, one and one. Popped up, right side, but foul, one and two. That's hit over to left center field, but uh, Wilson's got that one easily, one away. Carl Warwick, and we go back to double play depth. Warwick, of course, uh, had that uh, big hit. Hit over to right field, just foul, 0-1. That's outside, 1-1. There's the slider that just misses, 2-1 the count. Popped up foul, it's 2-2. Two and two. One of the longer games we played so far this season, Amanda being the longest. Ground ball over to Hernandez. He goes to uh, uh, Mitchell for one, but there's no relay throw, and that'll bring up Don Budden. Bottom of the 11th, runner on at first, tied 4-4. Budden fouls one away. It's this one foul down the right field line. It's 0-2, so I guess that means that Neiman has him where he wants him. Outside, 1-2. and two. Outside again, 2-2. Two and two. Fouled away. Foul the way again. Up the middle. That was wrapped up the middle for a base hit. Almost takes Neiman's head off. And there's a throw by Dyche to third. And they get the lead runner. And I'm not quite sure what the Colt 45s were thinking. Warwick trying to be a little too aggressive going to third on that play. And uh, you don't do that against Lenny Dykstra. So we go to the uh, top of the 12th inning. And after that great play, here comes Dykstra. Looking, I can see that the uh, Giants beating the Dodgers right now, uh, top of the fifth. There's a ball to Dykstra. It's a strike, I'm sorry, 0-1, and, and there's a ball, 1-1. One one. That's high, and he hits that one deep to le right center field. Nobody was there. They played him the other way. That's a double easily for Lenny, and the Mets are in business. So dive runner on at second base, top of the 12th, uh, nobody out. Here comes Mookie Wilson. Only the ninth hit for the Mets. And the ball high to Mookie, 1-0. And that's up the middle, but it's a good play, and Lillis drops it, and that'll be an error on Lillis, and uh, now we have runners at the corners. So Bobby Tiefenauer has thrown a full inning so far, um, is starting to fall apart a little bit. He has a 1.20 ERA, has been pitching well this season, and uh, let's see what we can do. So uh, Dykstra actually stopped at second on that play. There was another one of those where it looked like he went to third. No, he was actually stopped at second. Here comes Hernandez, and he will take a strike inside corner, 0-1. There's another strike, 0-2. That's outside, 1-2. That second strike was about as far outside as uh, that uh, knuckleball. And there's a swing and a miss. That must have been a knuckle. That was. One away, here comes Strawberry with uh, two on. There's a knuckleball in there for a strike, 0-1. And boy, that one hung up. Strawberry hits this one over to left and just foul. 0-2 on Darrell. That's a little 1-2. and two. Foul all the way again. Remains 1-2. and two. That's foul the way once again. Inside, 2-2. Two and two. Pop up. It'll be easy for Tifa now, or two away. That'll bring up Carter. So the Mets need a base hit, Gary. There's a ball high, 1-0. And that's uh, fisted off to the right side foul, 1-1. One one. Inside, and that's called a strike, 1-2. and two. Boy, you got to wonder about how wide this plate is. Knuckleball misses way inside, 2-2. Two and, two. and that's a weak ground ball over to third base. The throw to second is in time by Aspermonte, and we go to the bottom of the 12th inning, so this game continues. Here comes Jim Pendleton, 0-4 for four today. Takes a strike, 0-1. There's a ball inside. Every time it says it was a splitter, I think spitter. Two and one now the count. Maybe that would help the Mets. There's a ground ball to set, uh, short, and Mitchell has it, throws the first one away. That brings up uh, Hal Smith. The ball away to Smith, one and oh. It's fouled away. It's one and one now. That's low, two and one. Fouled off, two and two. And that's through the right side for a base hit. So Smith uh, gets it done with one out here in the bottom of the 12th. It'll be Pidge Brown as a uh, pinch hitter. And I imagine that the uh, full 45s are probably just about out of players. Ground ball to Mitchell. He goes to uh, second for one, but there's no relay throw to first. Backman didn't play that very well. So two away, and here comes Bob Lewis. 
And Willis pops one up, but that'll be out of play. Strawberry can't get there in time. He's not that fast. 0-1. The ball inside. 1-1. It's wrapped up to center, and that is over Dykstra's head. And uh, here they go around the bases. Smith is going to try to score. Dykstra can't get to this ball in time, and that's going to be the ball game. The Colt 45s win this one in third in 12. I'm sorry, 5-4. to four. And uh, that was a really, really sorry performance there by the Mets. So the uh, bullpen ends up blowing it. Wasn't a great uh, starting performance by Ojeda, and we are in trouble. Mets now go to Los Angeles to play the Dodgers, who are red hot, and um, we didn't look very good in this game or in the game before this. So uh, the uh, Colt 45s kind of have our number here. Five to four, we lose this one, and everyone's tired now. I'll see you tomorrow with tomorrow's game. We'll hope for a little bit better luck then. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.